Hello everyone, this is John Q. Daily Public. I've been away for quite some time, as you have obviously or most likely realized. Um, however, I have finally found some time that I can devote to Misery Let's Play rather than just uh, keeping my head above water. Um, my prior Misery Let's Play was a dark mode black road playthrough uh, as a recon class. Um, this playthrough, I'll be doing the same dark mode black road, uh, but I'll be playing as an assaulter. Um, as an assaulter, the stashes will be in different locations. Uh, some of them will be, some of them will be the same place. Um, the tools, I believe, are changing locations as well in the Misery 2.11 uh, version. Um, since I've kind of decided since the Assaulter is a heavily equipped soldier, I've decided to make this a no mercy playthrough, uh, meaning that I'll not be taking prisoners uh, and I'll probably shoot at everything but stalkers um, to increase the amount of possible looting cash flow that I'm going to need because uh, the Assaulter is uh, goes through a lot of food. He is a hungry, hungry puppy. So um, we'll talk more after the stalker cool movie intro here. Uh, so let me just get that started. Let's go up here and select USS Salter and let's enter the Black Road dark mode. Okay, well that was um, much better than any cinematography I could ever do, however, not the most uplifting film. Here's the stash, this one's still the same. Uh, once again we have, starting off with a knife, flashlight, I think, yeah, bed rule, a little bit of food, actually a lot of food, it's a big chunk here. And uh, let's get up here out of the way of the zombies. Um, zombies, they are coming. Um, my plan is to lure them up here. Uh, or at least of one side of the building. Um, there's two stashes up here. One here. And one over here. You don't get the dun dun sound on these ones for some reason. Um, if you look outside. Hmm. wonder where everybody's at. Are they over here? Oh, there's one. Gonna sit here and wait for them to um, attract more tension here to this end of the building. Uh, the assaulter is not well is not known for sneaking, so we're gonna do this fast as possible here. Just try to be quick. Uh, what the, One of the things the Assaulter is good at, though, is uh, using the knife. And you've noticed that I've kind of lightened everything up so you can see it. 
Um, I think one of the problems that I had the last dark mode playthrough is just difficult to see stuff. Uh, so I'm going to try to do something a little bit different this time. Um, here's the other stash that I'm going for. That's a repair kit for a helmet and some sleeping pills, which is free money for me since I don't really use those. I think maybe I should, but I never do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and quick save here. We're going to try to only have one save other than the quick save uh, because the quick save is not that useful in this version of Misery. It often corrupts. I do not have not installed one of the fixes for that. Um, so let's go try to get the other stashes here real quick and then start hunting some zombies. See how far we can take this. No. Oh, farther than usual. Oh, okay. Still sneaking. No zombies. No zombies. Good, good, good. Sneak over here. Get some charcoal. Alright. This is going to be a little bit noisy, possibly. Alright. There's that stash. We've got a battery. A hammer and a shotgun. We're going to save right there. And let's take a gander outside to see where we're at here. With the... Uh, enemies. Um, recon class, the tools are here at this first location. Um, however, the assaulter, the tools are not here. Oh, there's there's a body. Body and a body walking through the rye or something like that. Good old JD Salinger. Okay, here's somebody coming too. See if we can isolate some of these fuckers. And this playthrough, I'm going to try to keep them to 25 minutes to a half hour each episode. Uh, so i got to remember to set a timer. I'm usually not very good at remembering little things like that. So um, this one's going to be a little long because of the intro and because I just started the timer now. Um, so uh, the basic difficulty for the Let's Play, the, the Dark Mode in the black road is uh, the black road starts you off with nothing as you have right here and then the dark moon makes it so you only have half of less than half of the available hours in the day to do anything uh, if you're out during the daytime uh, it is heavily irradiated in this area All right. oh wow that sucked well that was a uh, a showing example of bad knife play. Let's reload here. So the assaulter is good, but you have to hit him in the head. And apparently I hit him three times, but I did not hit him in the head. And these zombies are tough. Um, if you get them without, if them shooting less than once or not at all, often they have more in their inventory, it seems like. Um, so let's just try some balls to the wall shit here. Since I've already died once, might as well try... That's not a person. That's a person. Man. Well, okay. So, maybe hunting zombies today is a shitty idea. Move with no hesitation, or you'll lose your focus. Words of wisdom to live by, right there. So... I really, really would like to get another gun or something extra here. One of these guys. Um, it's already 3.41. I don't have that much time to devote to these zombies and their little loot pool. But if I can... There's somebody. Alright, there we go. Damn it. Totally not worth it. Let's just give it one more try. Do a little bit more gambling. Let's lean over and see if there's anybody here. Ah. 
Oh man, I'm dying. Okay, that's enough deaths for right now. When I was nimble, when my fingers were nimble, or in the last couple of playthroughs, I was re uh, done fairly well at getting these guys. So I just not feeling it today. Oh well. Let's get out of here and not get eaten by something else. Run down here to this campsite to get some more batteries, which will be useful not now, but in the future. One of the bugs, I guess, of the bugs of the game is the campfire sound is there. However, um, there only when people are around are, is the campfire blazing, which kind of makes sense. But um, and I think this stash over here that's in the recon is no longer here. Not there. Is it around this corner? Yeah, I think it's gone. And I burned my finger, my middle finger, pretty badly, so I'm kind of a little bit uh, crippled for um, my directional key use. Last, I, I, I've been getting used to the playstyle of the Assaulter, which is slightly different than the playstyle for the Recon. Um, I've done a couple, I put it probably about 20 hours in refreshing myself. I thought that was something else. Alright, get up here and get our shitty AK and bad ammo for sale. Don't fall. Ooh, somebody killed something. Somebody shooting at me, maybe? Let's save there. This is one of those few times in the game where I just... Uh, if any bad luck befalls anybody around me, it benefits me dramatically. And... I'm a, some mutants must be between where I'm at and these people over here. Or there's somebody who doesn't like me already. Which is entirely possible. Okay. Let's get my six bullets ready. In case I need to defend myself from something. Oh, they're stalkers. What are they shooting at? There's more going on around here. I can hear it. Oh my god. Run away. Run away. Just fucking run. That is scary shit right there. Alright, that thing's gonna kill me. That pseudo giant is bad business. I'm gonna see if it kills them or. Oh, it's hurt. We're, we might get a lucky break here. Let's get out my um, two shots. Well, got some more shit here. If that thing's barely alive, I might be able to score a real good thing here. 
Or I might die a horrible, horrible, horrible death. Oh man, did I just luck out. I just got 28,000 rubles. Potentially for that. Do I have a hand grenade? Fuck no. Somebody else is trying to kill it. Cool. I even have 45? Alright. Alright, hopefully these people are not bandits. So I'm gonna loot this fucker real quick. Well, pseudo giant eyes. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for your hard work. I'm, uh... Whoa, what the fuck's going on here? Yeah, and I know I forgot a stash in the resort back there, but I kind of got distracted by the, um... This fucking thing. That is a real shit. Um, what time is it? I think I might just go to the Skadosk right now and um, drop my shit off real quick that I have so I can run around because I don't have any extra carrying capacity right now. And this guy is not known for his um, stamina. He's known for being beefy and using assault rifles. And uh, machine guns. That's what I'm really looking forward to in this game. Getting me a RPK. A PRK or something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head. The 7.62 by 54 uh, belt-fed Russian squad automatic weapon. Up here. I'm not going to introduce myself to anybody. See what happens, see if I glitch the game. There's Nimble. I saved him the first game. Hell yeah. Alright. Oh man, I got a lot of cool shit here. This has been a pretty fortunate start to this. Let's just get this shit out of my possession real quick. Because this is a short first night for me. This is like a training night. Uh, I do not have any extra time to wait around for shit. Uh, I'm going to keep... Do I have a medical kit? No, I don't. I'm going to save here. And let's book it the fuck out of here again. Go get some more stashes before the daylight hits. We have about an hour. I can probably get... The stashes at the uh, second boat and the stash at the resort, and that's probably the the maximum I'm going to be able to get this shift. Um, I kind of look at this game as a third shift job for this dude. Um, I thought that was another dead mutant. Uh, and we just gotta make sure we punch out on time. Uh, if we start working overtime, the boss gets pissed because they have to start working, paying us a time and a half. Um, uh, in this game, that metaphorically would be the uh, irradiation uh, and the boss being um, your concept of God, physics, whatever. So, I've been really looking forward to Misery 2.2, I think they're calling it right now. Um, they have proposed awesome changes. Alright, we're going to run down to the boat and get the stashes there. Where they're going to be able to basically break down equipment and have a tent. Uh, badly decayed, badly decayed, because I didn't get them when they were first shot. Oh, here's somebody that loves me. Are you new or old? Oh, you're new enough. The assaulter also has a... He eats a lot, but he has a delicate palate. Um... My recon playthrough, I didn't really eat too much of the um, 
zone produced protein. Um, because I really on it, uh, just could not hack the uh, the radiation. Um, probably preferred to buy. Hey, gents, don't mind me. Just get some shit. There's some sausage. Uh, something's outside. Just got some pot. Good stuff. Shooting at man. Cats. That'll be unfortunate if they kill the leader. Hope they don't kill the leader. Cats are vicious in this game. In real life, I'm allergic to cats. Um, I have nothing really against them other than that when you have an indoor cat, you basically just have a box of shit in your house. Um, which, honestly, is not my forte. Um, but cats in this game get no mercy. They are evil. Oh! Nothing useful. Cat tail. That was a bad uh, mutant spawn right there. I also would like to try to get over to the second area as quick as possible so I can complete the Vano quest line um, by uh, and get the diplomatic perk. What time we got here? We've got 30 minutes to get back to the, um, the ship before we uh, start suffering uh, radiation burns. Since the last Let's Play, um, I was I read on I downloaded some of the uh, declassified uh, Department of Energy documentation from uh, Japan and the post-war analysis of the bomb uh, effects of the two bombs at Hiroshima and Nagasaki, um, and basically it's the like the. All right, 15 minutes. We're not going to be able to do much more right now. We're going to be able to get back there pretty, pretty much. We might be able to see if this one... Oh, there's shooting going on. I really want to go find out what's going on there. But, um... Like I said, radiation burns. Well, anyway, so read the, some of those studies, and they're the, the most gruesomely titled studies... Um, and most of them were on, like, radiation burns and fatalities in children, um, because there was a large pop or a greater population of children in schools, and there was fairly well solid documentation of attendance, so they knew where everybody was at, uh, and it was a good, basically, source of information to, you know, account for, um, how close you were to the blast, how bad your injuries were, where did you die, and other things. Uh, luckily, no pictures that I saw, uh, but it was still pretty freaking horrible. But, um, yeah, so radiation burns, yay. Oh, look, it's an asshole. Damn. Okay, let's go upstairs and start the, um, the stuff here. I've also taken out the music. Да где не спрашивал все до задницы. Asked everywhere, but it's useless. Слухов. Nobody knows. Ну, the thing. It's a poltergeist or something. Эта скотина еще пожалеет, что сбежала. That son of a bitch is gonna regret running away. Ничего, потерпи. Доктор сказал уже через пару дней бегать сможешь. Пока давай, отдержи все силы, набирайся. Пригодятся. As well, use this time to rest and chill. Hey, Stalker, к тебе вопрос есть. Here, all right. What do you want, dude? All right. This is a magpie mission. I always say. What harm has he done to you? What happened then? If I see... Alright, I should probably ask, so who you are? Tell me about hunting mutants. I don't really care right now. Mm. 
let's, uh, let's see what he has to say about bloodsuckers. They're expert hunters themselves with expert disguise. When they're camouflaged, you can barely see them. When you're hunting a bloodsucker, try to startle it. Uh, you can do it better when it's on the move. Remember, a bloodsucker will try to sneak up behind you and weave its feelers around your neck. That's some creepy shit. Man, if you're lucky, lucky enough to run into a few bloodsuckers, always watch your back. Actually, just watch your back at all times. And you should never let your guard down if you fancy keeping all your blood inside your body. Well, that's... Um... Number six. Yeah, well, thanks. That's... Thank you. I do need to sleep here soon, you realize. Hello, dude. Notice I'm not, uh... Poisoned by radiation. At least you sound nice. Uh, let's get some more missions here. Wow. A few more minutes. I'm offer my services. Got anything? Tell me about the mercenary camp. I agree. Thanks. I'm most likely going to do most of my data uh, management off stage um, because it's not as interesting and uh, it, there is some strategy to it at the beginning. But, uh, it's going to be fairly well explained. Um, without having to go through stuff. How can you even live in such a place like this? I am not reading this all because it's just so long. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Don't get your hopes up. Thanks. Bye. Do you have a mission for me as well? Job you can offer me. What do I need to do? I agree. Deal. Thanks. I'm going to hold off on the other people here. I'm going to go get my um, job from Carden as well. My favorite drunken friend. Howdy. Got any work for me? Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks. Feel sorry for your liver. It probably hurts. Okay. So, let's see what my stash is. Let's see how many pounds of shit I was able to pull out of nothing to die. Hmm. That's some good stuff. So, what I'm likely going to do to start with is... Sell that. Keep this, because I got a silencer for it. Hmm. I would like to keep this, but um, I think selling it would be more appropriate for what I need to do. Um. Selling all the animal parts, obviously. I'll probably sell some of the ammo, too. Um, if this wasn't so shitty, this actually has a lot more rounds for it. Um, but I'm probably going to get a good load of stuff. I got this definitely keeping. This definitely keeping. I guess I should keep this because I have only a few rounds for this, and it's halfway broken. This is about useless. Um, but I already have 45 bullets for it. Um, keeping this, keeping this. Uh, put that away for right now. I've got bandages. Let's put bandages under B for bandages. I've got batteries, keeping that, selling that. I need to buy more ammunition for this this time around. Um, I'm going to be selling this food there because I don't have enough radiation protectant. Keeping this, keeping this, keeping this, keeping this for now. Uh, keeping that for now. Check all these, make sure they're unloaded. Okay. Keeping that. For repairs. Okay, so I'm gonna go sell off 52.8 kilograms. Oh shit. Um, and go from there. I'll probably be buying a scope for this and ammunition. This is a shitty rifle. I'm not going to do too much to prepare it or anything else. I'm just going to use it until it goes down and until I can find something else because there's another better assault rifle uh, early in the game that you can get with the risk of a little radiation poisoning from uh, a loon's stash. Alright, um, 
I'm going to cut this episode off here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is John Q. Daylight Public. I look forward to seeing you next time for the next episode. <laughs>